Grüezi miteinander und willkommen zu einem neuen Video von mir. That's how it would sound like if I would speak in Swiss German. But we're still gonna keep it in English. So if you're having a hard time figuring out what gear to buy uh, to start making quality content, I have a couple of gear recommendations that can help you. In fact, this video right now is shot on the iPhone 13 Pro Max using a couple of accessories. And I would consider this as a great home studio setup for shooting professional mobile content. Now I will be breaking this setup down and show you the tools I use to create these high quality videos. From my two years experience on creating videos on YouTube, I know what it takes to produce quality content and this didn't happen overnight. There is a learning curve to it and hopefully with this video, I can help you find the right gear so that you can get started right away making quality videos for your business or YouTube channel. So stop sitting on your couch and watching Netflix, go out there and Shoot, man, shoot. Maybe I should do a motivation video again just to get you guys out there and really. Now it can be overwhelming at first, but starting with your phone that you have in your pocket is seriously a great option and investing in some gear can improve your workflow and quality of your video. <clears throat> you can also check out this video to learn more about how to film yourself using an iPhone. As you know, every person has their own unique setup. Maybe this setup might not be the right one for you, but I believe that you will find certain tools helpful during this video that you can implement into your current mobile filmmaking setup. Keep in mind that all the products mentioned will be in the video description below. And before we start, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by SoundRaw. It's an AI music generator that allows you to create and compose royalty free music in your videos like the one you're listening to right now. I will talk more about them later. So starting with the first item is the Ulanzi Universal Teleprompter. It's not a secret that I use a teleprompter to create my YouTube videos. In fact, I'm using it right now. It just helps structure my videos and is much less work in the editing process since I can just read off the lines and therefore make less mistakes. If you're someone that struggles to speak in front of a camera, a teleprompter like the one from Ulanzi for 50 bucks is a great option. Not only can you use it with a DSLR camera, but also with a smartphone. It has a phone clamp that fits most smartphones and you can set it up either vertically or horizontally depending on the platform you're uploading it to. Now to read the script off your teleprompter, you will need a second phone. Maybe you have an old phone laying around or maybe you could borrow it from someone. Now I use an app called the Prompt Smart Pro, which is available for iOS user. I purchased the full version, but there's also a light version that you can download for free. Now without a monitor, it's difficult to frame yourself properly. Now this is where the Apple Watch uh, comes into play and becomes very helpful. By strapping the Apple Watch onto your iPhone and using the camera remote app, you can live monitor uh, yourself. This way you can frame and use the wide angle lens on the rear camera that produces a much better video quality than the front lens or selfie camera. You don't have to have the latest Apple Watch to make it work. You could use something like the Apple Watch Series 3 for around 200 bucks. Once everything is set up, I can just press the record button on the Apple Watch and play the script. As I mentioned before, I'm recording on the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the wide angle lens. The wide angle lens fits great with the teleprompter and isn't blocking the frame. Also, the text is clear and I can still read and look directly into the lens. What I like about this teleprompter is that you can mount different accessories, which brings us to our next item, which is the Ulanzi compact magnetic RGB tube light that you can get for around 30 bucks. Lighting is important and if you're filming on a cloudy day or at night, you will need additional light to illuminate your face. Now it's currently 8 a.m. in the morning and uh, it's super cloudy outside. So having additional light is super helpful. Right now you're seeing it with the Ulanzi light on. This is how it would look like without additional light. You could go with this setup because I still have a uh, natural light coming in, but because it's cloudy outside, I could use some additional light to illuminate my face. Now this honestly is a great quality light with a CRI of 95 
plus it's magnetic you can change the color temperature from 2500 to 8000 kelvin and the battery life can last from 2 up to 15 hours depending how strong you've set the light it has an his mode with 360 degree adjustable colors and cinematic effects such as cop car tv strobe and red flash you have all that in just a pocket sized tube light I can easily mount the light uh, on the teleprompter using a ball head that comes with a cold shoe mount and yeah, that is the result you get, which I really like. So guys, before we continue, I would like to talk a little bit about our sponsor of today's video, which is SoundRaw. If you're looking for a good music, SoundRaw creates music just for your content easily. It basically uses AI for the creation of music for videos. So let me show you guys how SoundRaw works. I'm gonna hop onto the computer and walk you guys through. So head over to soundraw.io and on the upper left corner, I can create my music. As you can see, the interface is quite intuitive. To the left, you have different video themes. I usually like to go for a vlog. And for the mood, I usually keep it uh, exciting. To the top right, you have length and detail. So I like to keep my songs, especially if it's a long video, uh, at around five minutes. And in the detail section, I can select the tempo. So I wanna keep it normal. And I can also select the different instruments. I don't want any voice in my music, so I'm gonna deselect that. And here I can select the different genres, so I don't want any rock. And once I'm ready, I can create my music. So I'm gonna select Tropical House. And for AI music generator, this sounds really good. And what I can do is, if I like this type of music, I can actually select the two rings up here uh, to create a similar music. And to download the music, I can just select the arrow. And if I wanna add it to my favorites, I select the heart. And the great thing about Soundra is that you can even edit your music. So when selecting edit this music, so below I can modify the song. For example, if I wanted to start with just the melody and bass, so right now it sounds like this. So I can leave uh, out the backing and the drums. This is how it would sound like. So it's pretty awesome that you can just uh, manipulate your song the way how you like it. Now, I'm not a Premiere Pro user, but for those that are, they have a plugin that allows you to use all of Soundra's features, which is quite convenient. And if you're interested in Soundra, they have a free version that you can test out. And if you like it, you can simply sign up for their monthly plan for unlimited downloads. With that said, let's continue with the video. Now for the audio, I like using the Rode Wireless Go 2 as I can be further away and having the flexibility to walk around is really great. With a shotgun mic, this wouldn't be possible because I will have to be very close to the camera in order to have clear audio. Now the Rode Wireless Go 2 is pricey and costs around 300 bucks, but it has been by far the best investment as it produced great audio quality using the Rode Lavalier Go, which comes at around 80 bucks. I use it a lot for professional client work too. And for me, audio is half the viewing experience and is the first thing I would invest in when creating mobile content. Many beginners focus on the best quality visuals and completely neglect their audio. The truth is that the success of your video rests more within the audio quality than the video, so make sure to invest in a good microphone. You can use the internal mic on the iPhone as it produces decent audio quality, but if you can upgrade to the Rode Wireless Go 2, that would be great. So this is how it sounds like using the Rode Wireless Go 2 with the Rode Lavalier Go. The audio quality should be good. And at the same time, I can be further away from the camera or even walk around. Doesn't matter, the audio uh, will stay consistent as I have it close to me. So this is how it sounds like using the internal mic on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And as you can see, I'm quite far away. So it should sound echoey, but as I come closer, um, the audio quality will get better. But um, as you can see, I have to be close to the camera in order to have a better audio quality. Now I made an in-depth review about the Rode Wireless Go 2 that you can check out up here. 
You can also get the cheaper version, which is the Rode Wireless Go for 200 bucks that will give you the same good audio quality. Now the Rode Wireless Go's are a bit laborious to charge. That's why I got the wireless charging case for the Rode by, I don't know how to pronounce their name, so I'm just gonna pop it up here. Now this is not necessary, but I find it convenient to charge all three rather than having to rotate them through a single charge or having multiple chargers set up. The cool thing about this device is that it has the ability to charge them using the internal battery along with the ability to charge other devices. In this case, I use it to charge the light when recording for longer hours. Overall, I would say a versatile and convenient charging case that can be quite useful. Now the teleprompter is set up on the Ulanzi MT24 camera vlog set, which costs around $40. I went for this mini tripod as it has two stage extendable legs to adjust the height of the camera. Now, since all of this is a little bit of a heavy setup, this tripod can hold up to 2.5 kilos, so you could even use a DSLR camera. It also comes with a strong ball head to level your camera. And this is really perfect as I can place it on the table and start recording my videos uh, right away. Now, if I need to set up the camera higher, the Amazon Basic Tripod for 20 bucks is a great option. I had this tripod since I started making YouTube videos and I still use it today for filming myself. It's great for starters that need an easy setup that doesn't have to cost much. And an easy way for me to quickly switch between twi pots is to use a quick release plate. The one I'm using is the Hummingbird Quick Release System by Ulanzi. I got two of these for $16. This isn't necessary, but it can surely save minutes during a setup. Now you can use it for many other things. I find it just convenient uh, switching between tripods. Now I can surely say that this setup is great for those that want to record quality videos with their iPhone home. You can simply leave the setup how it is and once you have your script, you can just import it into the app, mount your iPhone, clip the mic onto your shirt and you're ready to go. I'm curious, what do you guys think of this setup? If you have any suggestions to improve this setup, uh, I would love to know. Make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Now, as always, if you haven't downloaded my free smartphone filmmaking guide, do that right now as this can help you get started making quality videos with your smartphone. Also join the private smartphone filmmaking group on Facebook to share your work with others and get feedback. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Start making your videos now. Don't let anybody stop you and I will see you in the next one.